Not a bad day. Yeah, we'll take it. It was um, a weird day to say the least. You know, we I thought had a good car. The Air Force Chevy was quick, just got mired in the back a couple times, and it's just tough to get back through there. So finally, um, through a little bit of attrition, got some track position, and you know we were up there in the top 12 at the end, and uh, got fortunate, missed the big one, and, and came home up front. So happy with that. We needed a good run. It's um, it's been a few weeks since we ran well, so hopefully this will kind of you know, get us going in the right direction for Dover next week and uh, get some better finishes. But proud of the day. It was a good car, and, and that's all you can ask for. We saw the Chevrolets working together pretty nicely, but there at the end, it's a free-for-all. So th the NASCAR overtime was pretty crazy. Describe in the car running up front what you were feeling. Yeah, I mean, guys are kind of, uh, at that point, making whatever moves they think it's going to take to win. And I saw the 23 get to making some pretty big moves and blocks and, uh, in one, he made a really big block, and I was pretty sure it wasn't going to work, so I was trying to find an exit strategy, more or less, and um, fortunately, I was on the bottom and just kind of dove down there and let them all wash up, but uh, yeah, it always gets crazy. It was such a, a clean race up until that point, and I think everybody kind of knew when that yellow came out, it was going to be a, tough till the end, so uh, there's a lot going on with fuel and strategy and people running out and possibly running out, so it made it a little more chaotic, but uh, it was... Uh, it was everything you could ask for out of a Talladega race. Thanks, Eric.